Hello and welcome to this short presentation of the 89 series hydraulic post driver from Elgra Engineering. The 89 series post driver is the latest product to roll off the assembly line and we'd like to show you the machine in action in this short video presentation. The integrated auger is hydraulically swung into position to allow pre-drilling in all terrain. This can be done without the operator moving from the control levers. Specialising in tractor-mounted, hydraulically driven three-point linkage farm machinery, Elgra have created many unique products over the years. This machine can be mounted onto your three-point linkage, as shown here, or fitted onto the skid steer or excavator at an additional cost. Once the auger has been swung away from the work area, the post is then placed into position under the power head. The operator then applies downward force and commences the hammering operation. This very quickly drives the post into the ground to the required depth. When working on sloping ground, the 89 series driver has left-right adjustment of approximately 15 degrees to either side. This makes for greater safety as well as allowing the post to be driven in with correct vertical alignment. Solidly constructed, but weighing approximately 600 kilograms, this makes it much safer on steep slopes compared to other heavy post drivers currently on the market. All the operations are carried out using control levers in one single operator's panel to the side of the post driver. In soft grounds, the posts can be driven in directly without pre-drilling with the auger when required. As well as left to right swing, the 89 series also has approximately 12 degrees of fore and aft tilt. Again, this allows for greater safety and correct alignment of posts when working directly up or down a steep slope. I've got various ranges of augers for different terrain, anywhere from 2 inch up to 10 inch augers. They have various different size cutter heads to go into the machines, whether they've got tungsten or just normal auger motors. On these ones here, they're a Girola motor, better efficiency for drilling. The main ram on here hydraulically forces the auger into the ground, as other post drivers there rely on the old free fall weight of the hammer there to assist it into the ground as this one here. It's got a hydraulic ram that actually applies the force which gives us better drilling ability than anything else in the market. To activate the auger on these machines here, the power cell is hydraulically raised up as long as it's above the, the hydraulic motor here. We then have another ram at the rear of the machine here which will hydraulically swing the auger device around into the drill position which is central to the power cell and then it's also hydraulically, fought, hydraulically swung back out of the row. This by here, having it hydraulically swung in and out of the drill position makes it a lot safer because you're not handling the device, it can't fall off, it can't injure any staff members. All the levers on these machines here, whether it be from the side tilt to your top link to your auger swing, They've all got restrictor valves in there, which means you've got a positive feel as you push the lever. There's no jerking movements of the rams, which once again makes it safer for the operator there, so, no, so there's no injuries. Your auger device for swinging, which is the levers are made in such a way that so that as you, whichever way you move the levers, the machine will turn and move with it as well. So if you're moving the auger into the drill position, you'll pull the lever, so which means that the auger device will swing around directly underneath the, the power cell. Your auger motor rotation, it's bi-directional. The reason for that is if you're drilling into the ground and the auger itself there got stuck on a root in the ground, 
That means you can turn, rotate the orbit in the opposite direction to unscrew it out of the, whether it be a root or a rock which has got it stuck in the actual cutter head. The tilt on the machine just allows you there for different terrains. You got fourth and a half tilt on the machine there, which if you're going on steep grades and everything else, you can get the machine level. You've also got your hydraulic east west, which once again, if you're on une uneven terrain there, it allows you to turn around and get the machine level once again. With these machines here, once again, you've got hydraulic up and down on the power cell. This is a double acting cylinder. We also have a pressure reducing valve, which allows us to turn and achieve to get the whole weight of the machine onto the post to give it extra force into the ground. And when you're using these machines, you can either use them with two hands or one hand. Uh, depends on the person and the operator there, because the, for these machines to turn and operate correctly there, they've got to turn and always have a hydraulic downforce on the post. It's been another building safety feature there. If the hammer or the anvil comes off the post, the machine will shut down. So it's another safety device which we've put into the machine. The Elgra 89 series percussion driver is currently available in four models with varying sizes and delivery power. The 89 series 50 cell, 680 foot pounds per blow. Oil flow equals 25 to 45 litres per minute. 450 to 750 blows per minute. The 89 series 75 cell, 1,080 foot pounds per blow. Oil flow equals 40 to 80 litres per minute. 450 to 750 blows per minute. The 89 series 100 cell, 1,500 foot pounds per blow. Oil flow equals 40 to 90 litres per minute. 400 to 700 blows per minute. The 89 series 200 cell. 2,000 foot pounds per blow. Oil flow equals 60 to 100 litres per minute. 400 to 700 blows per minute. Elgra's head office and manufacturing facility is located in South Nara on the beautiful south coast of New South Wales. Elgra Engineering have been designing and manufacturing high-performance tractor-mounted hydraulic machinery for 25 years.